Hello, yarn and bees. How are you today? Okay, I've been gone for a while. <laughs> Let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, I have been in a slump. Pretty big slump. Um, ever since they brought in the all this stuff about you have to have a vax vax card and blah 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 <sighs> i just kind of went into hiding i'm really i guess i really got depressed um i watched the um president biden's speech and bawled like a baby all the way through it I know, I know, I'm Canadian and it doesn't affect me, but it affects all of you and it just ripped my heart apart. <clears throat> um, although getting the, the Vax card up here doesn't really affect me because I don't go out anyway, uh, I can see that it's going to start snowballing into other things and um, <clears throat> George, uh, has had some things come up where he's really had to think about <clears throat> the future. So, um, yeah. So anyways, I've just been a recluse even more than I usually am. I haven't worked in a week. I just... I introverted in a big way and I've been trying to poke my fingers out at a few of my YouTube friends and say hey how you doing um, and trying to keep in touch with them so that they know I'm okay and that I know they're okay and uh, and then we just kind of talk right but I just have not been able to feel I haven't felt like I I could be on camera uh, at all. So, and I went through about um, a, a week of absolute pain. Uh, my neck is really bugging me. And I was on painkillers and it was not a fun time, right? Just sitting here like this was hurting so bad. I was laying down most of the time. I went through two days of being in bed and not getting out. Uh, and just sleeping. I wonder if the mailman's here. Hold on. Yep, it was the mailman. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I just, I was in a lot of pain. And then, then the whole thing with Biden came out. And then the, our vaccine card thing came out. And I just, I sunk. So yeah, that's where, where I've been. I'm going to try my hardest I, to actually get out and work today. Um, you know how you get into a funk? You don't even want to take a shower, you know, and you just curl up and just want to hide away. That's kind of what I did. Um, George was a little concerned about me. And uh, I was like, okay, you know what? I need to get out of this. Um, I was starting to get some messages saying, hey, where are you? We miss you. Um, what's happening? You know, so, uh, yeah. So I, I just, I went, okay, enough's enough. And, uh, yeah, but I have been crocheting and going nowhere. Yeah. Um, I crocheted this. This is the another Ruana. Um, I want to talk about nightmare. Oh my god! This was supposed to be a tutorial. I went through mo about eighty-five percent of the tutorial, and then scrapped the whole thing. Ugh! This was a pain in the neck. Because the black and the purple, they're separate lines, right? Like, 
that I had ends all over the place. And I was like, no, I'm not going to put you guys through all that. <laughs> so, so I tried to teach myself how to carry my yarn. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to work on that and see how that goes. Because this was just a debacle. Absolute crazy. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But it turned out nice. Um, I've got the fringe on it, but I haven't finished doing the, the knotted fringe part. It's just after I got the, the edging on it and got all my ends, Bailey, enough, got all my, my ends tucked in and everything. I just threw it in a corner and went, I'm done with you for now. You know, I mean, I'm almost there. I just got to do the knotted fringe. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was, um. I thought it was a good idea at the time. And, and the funny thing is, is that when I, when I was doing this, I was trying to do it the same way that I did um, Jeanette's, the, the purple one. And then halfway through the tutorial, I realized, duh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing like five rows of purple and five rows of black. And I, I totally messed it all up I was like why am I doing one row one row one row one row it's like oh so I wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking at all but it turned out nice so yeah <laughs> oh well then I was working on this project uh, that at the time I thought it was a great idea and then I got most way through the one side and went ugh. now you some of you are probably gonna go oh I love that that looks so pretty but I just I hate it um, but I figured I was I was too far along to stop so it's a um, Ugh, hexagon cardigan and I was using the yarn that Jeanette gave me um, from Hootie Hooten whoops Hootie Hooten in uh, and I put two colors together to start <laughs> God, even in the camera I don't like it so it's purple or purple it's pink and yellow together very easter color well my thought at the time was i thought it looked like starburst candies and <laughs> yeah so anyways i got both sides done well actually that's a lie i had one more row to go all the way around on both the sides and I ran out of yarn. Oh, I was just absolutely devastated. I was like, I just want this off my hook. And yeah, I ran out of the pink and yellow yarn. Yay. So I, um, I didn't want to bother Jeanette because she's really not feeling well. And I didn't, <clears throat> you know, because I'm sure she has a couple of balls there and I could have bought off her. But I didn't want to bother her. And, you know, honestly, I just want this off my hook. Oh, sorry. Um, I just want this off my hook. You know, I just, I, I'm going to outline it in black and be done with it and do all do the cuffs and everything in black and be like be like okay I'm done um so yeah I I I'm not gonna continue. okay enough already can you please go like play somewhere else <clears throat> good grief um yeah so but the black that she gave me I I used this beautiful oh I didn't bring it in beautiful fluffy black did I
Ugh. It's this um, yarn be purely fresh, but in black. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're having problems here. I mean, how the heck did that? I guess it is becoming that time of year, isn't it? Ah, oh, good grief. Um, oh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah. So anyways, I had this, but I have one ball left and that's not going to do it. So now I got to try and figure out through all of my blacks. Um, if I've got something that I can use that is going to be, um, that is going to be comparable or not at all. Uh, just make an ugly sweater even uglier. <clears throat> so yeah, my color choice on this was not smart. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody will like it. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Um, so it's going to be so warm in the winter time. But uh, yeah. But anyway, so I was working on that. And then now I'm working on something else. I didn't bring it in because I'm nowhere near finished. Um, but it's a poncho. And I don't normally make ponchos, but this one looked kind of cool. But I liked the concept of this poncho, but I completely changed it. <laughs> of course, because I hate doing the Jacob's Ladder. I, oh, there's just something about it. I just, I, I got my count all wrong. I just didn't like it at all. So, uh, so I kind of squashed that and I did my own thing, which was a challenge and a half because it, yeah, I'll explain it later when, uh, when I finish it. <clears throat> um, I will not be doing a tutorial on it. Let's just say that. So, yeah, so I'm going to try and start working on another Rowana poncho or well, Rowana poncho. Yeah, another Rowana tutorial at some point because <clears throat> I was really hoping to get this out, like get this tutorial out for you guys because I'm nah, but I just, yeah, stupid thing. Anyway, <clears throat> um. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Like, just hi. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm just muddling through. Um, tell me how you guys are doing and how you're feeling about all this. Because uh, I'm feeling very alone. Very alone right now. Um, God, what's with everybody moving? Holy cow, it seems like every YouTuber I've been watching is packing up and moving. It's like, holy cow. Like, well, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. So, <clears throat> I'm sure that there's other stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I'm, my brain is, is just fried right now. <clears throat> I can't think of anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> coffee creamer. <laughs> yeah, me and coffee creamer don't mix, but I love it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I tried the pumpkin spice latte. A pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin spice latte creamer. Mm. Not bad, but hazelnut's still my favorite. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, oh, I went and saw my sister. Uh, she's doing well. Um, she's, uh, still talking about trying to go to work. Ah, bless her. I don't know. I, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. For those of you that don't know, uh, that are new, uh, my sister went through a pretty hard time, um, <clears throat> a year ago, a year and a bit ago. Uh, she had four brain surgeries in two months and um, she was diagnosed with a really rare disease called Wagner's. So she's been spending the last year and a half, uh, healing, 
and trying to get her life back on track, which it she'll never be 100%, but um, she's a lot better than she was. Let me tell you that. Yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, so I try and go and see her every once in a while just to kind of say, hey, how you doing? Come on, let's get you out of the house. Because she very much is a homebody now. Uh, she doesn't go out anywhere unless she's with someone because her balance still isn't quite right. Um, so she, she, and she can't drive really. And um, so, yeah, she kind of depends on other people to help her get out and about. Although she has been walking up to the uh, post office whenever people buy something off her Etsy page, which is linked down below, by the way called Coin Crow Creations. Um, she goes to the post office and she picks up the mail and sends stuff out. And so that's good. So she is a little bit independent that way. Uh, but yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she goes for another IV infusion uh, at the end of the, uh, the 22nd of this month I got to take her there because it's being done here in Nanaimo so um, yeah but anyway uh, I guess I'm gonna go now because it's been 13 minutes of me just blabbing and probably boring you to tears so I'm gonna go <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later I love you all and uh, thanks for checking up on me I really appreciate it and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. A few minutes later. Wait! Stop the press! Holy cow! <laughs> I was just about to go and edit this video, and I noticed that Jeanette from Hootie Hootin' has uploaded a video, and she has made her 300 subscriber. Yay! Woo! I am so happy for you, sweetheart. This is amazing. And it's just going to go boop, 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 up, 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 up from this point on. And uh, things are going to start happening for you. I am so proud of you. And whew, can't get emotional here. Holy cow. Um, she said the most amazing things about me. And I... Wow. Cried through the whole thing. <laughs> and I'm trying really hard to be upbeat here <laughs> because um, I just can't even, I, I, I have no words. I cannot believe that my videos can impact someone as much as they do. And here I am being all humdrum and, and dramatic. Uh, in this video and and then I watched this and went wow okay you know what I I need to reel it in and um, put more positive content out because I was in a really dark place there um, so anyways I I thank you so much for your kind words they they mean so much to me uh, when I started this channel, I had no idea what I was getting into. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't think anybody was going to watch me. All the things that you're feeling right now is how I felt, how we all felt when we started doing this. And uh, it's been an amazing um, couple of years and you're going to have so much fun uh, doing this from, from this point on. So get ready, chicky, because man, it's going to be a wild ride from now on. Um, so if you haven't heard, uh, hurt, if you haven't heard of, um, Mrs. Hootie Hooten and crafts, then I'm going to leave her link down below. Go check her out. She is adorbs. Um, she is the sweetest, kindest, biggest hearted person that you will ever meet. And please do not take advantage of that. Um, I know that there, I, 
there's a lot of people out there that will go and watch people's videos and pick and choose people that have big hearts and then you know take advantage of them and I would hate to see that happen to her because uh, she is a wonderful person she really is so um, go check her out go subscribe let's get her to 500 yes we can do this and we're going to do this <laughs> yes we are um so yeah i love you sweetheart i am so proud of you and um yeah keep going keep going i know it can be tough some days believe me i just went through it we all go through it and uh this this avenue has really helped me um get out of my shell and get my bring lift me up um all of my yarnabies they lift me up and all of your hoots are 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 your who what are you gonna call us <laughs> all, all of our all of your little owls um anyways we're going to try and lift you up as well and uh yeah so i'm not going to say anymore because i'm going to just start to cry and then that ugly cry and then it's just not pretty okay so <laughs> so i will talk to you guys later i love you all bye